onion and coconut are roasted with sesame seeds, coriander and cumin seeds. Ginger and garlic is also added and these are processed to a paste together with tomato, spices and coriander. Unique to this recipe, I will be reserving the walking legs of the crabs and I'm going to be roasting them. This will be ground to a paste with some coriander. The pureed masala is simmered in hot oil together with some tamarind and the walking legs paste which will be strained in. The crab is simmered in this gravy till it's cooked. be using blue swimming crabs for this recipe this is about 500 grams the first thing I'm gonna do is roast one cup of sliced onions in very little oil after the onion has had some time to sweat and turn color I'm going to add in a quarter cup of grated coconut coconut to brown and then I'm going to move everything to one side add a bit more oil and add in one teaspoon of coriander seeds one teaspoon of cumin seeds and one tablespoon of white sesame seeds saute this all together and remove it and reserve it I'm now going to take advantage of the hot pan and I'm going to add in four garlic cloves as well as a one inch piece of ginger that I've thinly sliced. Once this has a bit of color, I'm going to take it out and allow it to cool down as well. Add a bit more oil to the hot pan and I'm going to start to remove the walking legs from the crabs. These are filled with sweet meat and the shell is pretty soft. I've reserved about 12 to 14 legs. I'm just going to roast them and then I'm going to leave them aside to cool down. In my blender jar, I'm going to add in the onion, coconut, ginger and garlic, coriander, cumin and sesame seeds. I'm also going to add about one cup of tomatoes, one tablespoon of red chili powder, one tablespoon of garam masala powder and one teaspoon of turmeric powder. Add in half a cup of fresh coriander and I'm going to grind this. I'm going to be using about one to two cups of water as I go just to make this as smooth as possible. Now I'm going to grind the walking legs together with a half cup of coriander. I'm going to add about a half cup of water or as required. Heat up half a cup of oil and add in all of the ground masala. Be careful to protect yourself with a lid if you're not using a deep pot as the liquid in the masala will cause the oil to splutter. Cook this for a few minutes. Now I'm going to strain in some tamarind pulp. I have half a cup of tamarind pulp here. I soaked some dry tamarind in hot water and I'm just straining it so I reserve all of the solids. Next, I will also strain the walking legs. I want to make sure that we don't get any pieces of crab shell in the curry. Mix this in. Add salt to taste and allow this gravy to come to the boil. Then I'm going to add in my crabs and I'm going to cover this and allow it to cook for 15 to 20 minutes, stirring in between. Enjoy. Enjoy. 